hello welcome back to my channel today we're making delicious shrimp fried rice emily's way on the side i have some chicken teriyaki and some fried green beans let's get into it okay so first i'm gonna start off with some boneless skinless already clean chicken thighs i'm gonna go ahead and season that with some salt freshly ground black pepper paprika garlic Put a little parsley in there, add some olive oil, and mix it all up. Next, we're gonna go ahead and season the shrimp the same way we seasoned our chicken. So that's salt, black pepper, paprika, and garlic, and add a little bit of olive oil. Give it a good mix. And please, guys, make sure you're washing your chicken and deveining your shrimp. These already come deveined, but just give it a look over and then just clean it up. Okay, so we're gonna start building the components for our rice. I throw some butter in my wok. If you don't have a wok, that's fine. You can use a regular frying pan that's big enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and scramble up three large eggs. You can do it at the end. I just prefer to have everything nice and in place so I can just dump it all in. So we're gonna scramble that up and just put it in a bowl to the side. Next, let's work on getting our shrimp cooked. So throw some butter in the pan, put the shrimp in there, and then I'm also going to add just a splash of sesame oil. Put some sesame oil there, cook up the shrimp. It literally takes about two minutes. The wok is super hot. Give them a nice flip. Don't cook them too much, and then put them also to the side. Okay, it's about that time to start our rice. We're gonna use the pan that's dirty because of all of that shrimp flavor, we still want that. We're gonna add a touch of sesame oil and grab the white rice. That white rice, I had it already made um, a couple of hours before making this because if you use hot rice, it's gonna get mushy. So make sure you use leftover rice that was in the fridge or make it the night before or a couple of hours before. Let's start assembling the rice. Okay, so we're gonna add our ingredients now. So we're gonna go ahead and add our scrambled egg. Keep chopping it up. Keep moving the rice because it'll start getting burned. So just keep, keep it moving. Add some spring onion and some frozen peas and carrots. It will thaw out with the heat, don't worry about it. So just make sure you keep the rice moving in your pan. Trust me, at this point, you're gonna smell the sesame oil. It smells so good. We're gonna go ahead and add some soy sauce. So, for this part, you can add as much as you like. I like for the rice to be nice and brown, so I'm dousing it in some soy sauce. So good. After we do that, we're gonna go ahead and add the rest of it. We're gonna add the shrimp. Give it a nice mix. Remember, keep that rice moving. And then I'm gonna finish it off with the rest of my spring onions. Okay, so this has been cooking for a little while. So if you're happy with the color of the rice, go ahead and turn it off, cover it up, and let's get started on the chicken. All right, so we're gonna start off with the chicken. I go ahead and add a splash of sesame oil. Make sure your pan is searing hot so that way the chicken could get a nice golden brown color. I love this part. And once you do that, 
add a couple tablespoons of butter and just let it do its thing. Don't touch it, let it get brown. Look how golden brown and delicious that chicken is. I did let it go a little bit longer than I should have, but you be the judge. You know how you like the chicken. So give it a flip and let's start with our teriyaki sauce. Something simple, just add uh, as much teriyaki as you like. I like the thicker sauce, but they didn't have it, so I just used this thin teriyaki sauce. I added a touch of honey to get it nice and sweet and thick. Stirred it up. There's plenty of other ways that you can make this teriyaki chicken. I use what I had at home, but there's tons of other ways. So I'll do another official way to make the teriyaki chicken. But this did the job. It was delicious and so was my So if you're a busy mom like I am, you definitely appreciate the shortcut. I grabbed this P.F. Chang's crispy green beans that I had from Target and they are so good. They're like legit my face. So I went ahead and put them in the air fryer at the appropriate setting. If you don't have an air fryer, you can put it in the oven. Just follow the directions, put them on a tray and let them go. And they're so crispy and brown and delicious. I love them. So I go ahead and prepare my yum yum sauce that you love from the hibachi. So it's so easy to make. I get some mayo, ketchup, sriracha, paprika, garlic powder, a touch of vinegar, and a tiny bit of water. I made it a little bit because I like the sauce. Everybody in my house doesn't eat that. So I mix it up. I dip my green beans in it. I put the sauce all over my rice and my chicken and it was so so good. So I hope you enjoyed this recipe, it was so fun and it's just a different um, dish that you can make on one of those weeknights or even on the weekend for your family. If you like this recipe, let me know and thank you for watching. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.